just uh, what do you think of winning a game like that on a wild pitch? Hey, you know, we'll take them any way we can get them, you know, especially this time of the year and, you know, kind of trying to rest some arms and not throw guys too much. And I think K-State was in the same boat. And, uh, you know, we were just begging for a hit in the ninth to get it over with there. And then we, we had to go back out with, with the true freshman. He got into a jam and he got himself out of it and uh, obviously we won the game on a wild pitch. And uh, not a lot of offense tonight. Um, defense was okay. But, uh, like you said, we'll, we'll take it. Were you guys going to keep playing if it was rain like this, or are you just going to call it a tire? Um, what were you going to do? I think we'd have played for a little bit longer. I mean, yeah. it's not pouring. We, you know, we started, right. you know, coming down pretty good. You know, we wouldn't have been out there if it started getting slick, and I don't think they were going to put the tarp on for us. Right. We wouldn't have sat around here for an hour or two to finish it. Yeah, um, yeah and Kosti Shocker. Sorry, yeah, that's say it. His name. Yeah. Um, what did you think is for forwards? I mean, pretty, you know, you know he did a good job. You know, he uh, – Obviously, he gave up a hit to the first hitter, but you know he got him. He got him a strikeout and a, uh, I guess a ground ball pop up, whatever. And then he ended up getting, you know, he got ahead of the hitter. I think uh, one two and going full count, he fouls one off. And I'm thinking, wow, you know, it'd be tough. And he, he threw a pitch. It was borderline, probably just a little bit high, and the, and the hitter went after it and missed it. And obviously, momentum swung back over here. We thought, hey, we got a chance to win it in the bottom of the tenth, and that's what we did. His last I've- outing, he threw two walks, and you pulled him quick tonight. Just. I know you didn't have anything left, but just to see him overcome that tonight. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of his inning. I mean, he if they if they didn't score or if they scored three, he was probably just going to have to stay out there. We didn't have anybody loose. We had really one more guy that we could have gone to, another freshman. But, uh, you know, thank goodness we didn't have to do it. And I'm glad for him. Uh, I think that was a big outing for him mentally and uh, gained some confidence and uh, – you know, we'll need him again sometime this year. Who, who, who was the other guy you had left? Uh, Brendan Heiss, okay. freshman, yeah. Evan Lane with a good game tonight. How unique is it to be able to pull a guy out of the bullpen if you need him or make him a DH? Well, it's it's great uh, for us. You know, it's probably tough on him because there's many a time that I've thought about hitting him, but we were thinking we may need him late in the game to get out a left-handed hitter. And, you know, he works hard offensively. He's a good hitter. He's a tough out, and uh, he runs the bases well. He plays hard. and. You know, I think next year's sophomore, I think he'll be an everyday player for us and a pitcher, but I think you'll see him in the lineup most all the time. And, you know, this year he's he's handled his role well, uh, but it's nice to be able to to have a two-way guy. How many guys have you had that you've had that flexibility with? Um, at Arkansas, you know, uh, Brett Eibner jumps out. He was a pretty good two-way guy. And really as last year, we didn't pitch him a whole lot. We did, you know, here and there. But uh, that's, that's probably about it. You know, it's – it's hard to find the two-way guys because a lot of times they just end up going one way or the other. You know, they come in high school, out of high school, and they are good at both, but they find out it's so time-demanding to do both, and it's hard on the arm when you're pitching and then you're trying to swing the bat and the conditioning, and it's just it's different, and it's it's hard to do. You made the move and put him in there in place of Arledge. And yeah. Like yeah, you know, I just kind of played the odds a little bit and, you know, looking at the, the numbers and the matchup and, you know, we, we talked about that after the game, how I, you know, really appreciate that, you know, Jake Arledge, he handled it. And then he, you know, Coach Johnson pointed out to the team how Arledge became Lee's biggest fan. And uh, you don't see too many seniors do that. You know, usually they're a little upset and not happy with me, but he was pulling for him. We got the hit. He was fired up in here. And, and uh, you know, I just was waiting for the game to get over to kind of talk to him about it. And, Coach Johnson brought it up, and it was it was uh, it was a great thing. How big to get a win like this against you know Big Twelve team when you're coming off kind of a rough weekend at Auburn? Well, it gives you a little bit better feeling going into the the conference uh, three game series this weekend, knowing that you know we haven't lost two in a row, and you just you just feel better about winning. You know, K State's been playing really well of late, and beat a good West Virginia team two out of three this weekend, and you know there are uh, West Virginia's RPI was in the top ten, so. Um, it was a good win for us on the road or a neutral site.